Hello, Patimanians! You are listening to the Phoenix Online Tambayan Podcast, where we talk about all things OLFU. Sit back, relax, and let's all have a good time. Welcome to the second episode of the Phoenix Online Tambayan. I am your host for today, RJ Punongbayan, a current faculty member from the College of Hospitality and Institutional Management, Valenzuela City Campus. I am also a proud alumnus of OLFU and I took up Bachelor of Science in Travel Management. Joining me today is a student from the College of Business and Accountancy, Valenzuela City Campus, who, take note, she was crowned as the Miss OLFU Valenzuela last 2019. Fatimanians, give it up for Miss Jason Kim. Hi, Jason. Hello, Sir RJ. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon to one of the best MC hosts that Fatima ever had, Sir RJ Punong Bayan. Good afternoon, po. Thank you so much for having me here today. Hi, Jason. Good afternoon. Uh, kamusta ka dyan on your place? And how are you faring over the past month? Over the past month, I've been preparing myself kasi po, I, I, I stopped last year and I'm preparing myself to continue my studies again with Fatima. Oh, that's good. Uh, we know that uh, the time that we have is really pressing, really challenging. But what's most important about it is how we respond to the challenge. And I commend you, Jason, for having uh, the zeal to continue even though everyone else tells us not to do so. Yes. So let us, uh, pero maging chill lang muna tayo for today. Uh, Jason, uh, during the last pandemic, uh, during the pandemic uh, that was 2019, 2020, and now 2021, uh, what are the things or yung mga bagay na kinahiligan mo nang gawin because you were in quarantine? Well, Honestly, last year when I took some time off with my studying up, I I was looking for some part-time jobs that I can use my time with so I can earn some money to save and to provide for myself with my studies. Aside from that, I'm trying to change the routine that caused me to be unhealthy before. I was very thin oh. before din po, and I think it affected my studies before. That's why I, I was trying to change that the whole year po. That's good. Uh, health is wealth, sabi nga nila, and we wanted everyone also to be healthy and well, uh, even though we are stuck in our homes and recuperating and protecting ourselves from uh, the threats of the pandemic. Ako naman siguro, uh, what I did was, of course, we are working from home. So, uh, we are still doing uh, the jobs, uh, the job and the career that we had uh, signed for. But nonetheless, uh, it's really how we respond to this challenge uh, would also define us who we really are, kung ano talaga tayo. No? Tama ba, yes. Jisoo? Yes po, but don't you miss the face-to-face po, the traditional setting, Sir RJ? Oh, I do miss face-to-face classes. Nakik- gusto, kong, gusto kong makita yung mga students natin, uh, aside from uh, jo- uh, enjoy uh, enjoying themselves in uh, classroom re- classroom learning, yung nami-miss ko yung lumalabas yung mga students on their break time and then chatting with their friends. Uh, I'm sure we are on the same cluster. We are located in the Dambana area. So uh, yes. <laughs> we miss all of all of our classmates, all of our friends na nagkukumpul-kumpulan sa mga street food area, sa mga tusok-tusok. Yeah. Oh, I so miss Tok Neneng right now. But uh, <laughs> sa bahay kasi wala. <laughs> no po. <laughs> But more importantly, what we miss uh, in the face-to-face classes is the Uh, faces, no. We wanted to see everyone in the flesh, but um, but uh, well, we are we are in a work from home setup, and we are doing online classroom. So fear not, we would still uh, we would still see each other. Magikita at magikita parin tayo in June time. Malapit na yon, so magikita din tayo Jason. Malapit na. <laughs> 
Yes, po. Okay. But, mm -hmm. but yes. The, but the thing is, the traditional classes has it also its pros and cons. And yeah. I hope that everyone also know that the online classes has it too. So it also has some advantages that we can use and we can, um, we can actually learn also from it, the effectiveness of online classes. Yes, I do agree with you. Siyempre, uh, lahat tayo nag adjust no uh, we are all uh, we are all adjusting to the new normal of education no not only us students but also your teachers yeah, they are also adjusting <laughs> oh, oh ang hirap pa yung kumausap ng camera ji soon diba? <laughs> <laughs> pero mas mahirap para sa mga parents and students because they are consoling their uh, their children to still adapt to the new normal in education no hindi so, hindi pwedeng makikiride lang tayo sa uh, sa gusto or kapricho ng mga estudyante no yes. kapag ayaw ayaw pag gusto gusto no kasi but, we we wanted still to continue di ba yes po actually Fatima also provide us a great um a great options din po when i enroll po there are a lot of ways wherein i can enroll po there are a lot of um payment options para po kapag enroll ako at such a low um down payment i can enroll na po <laughs> ama yon pero para mas uh, mapag-usapan natin yan no para uh, for the benefit of our listeners and our uh for our audience no we would be discussing that platform along with other topics no, for our session today. And uh, for this session, we will be doing a then versus now conversation. Ika nga, mag-uusapan natin ang mga nangyayari na naranasan natin noon at ngayon. As I have mentioned, I am an alumnus of OLFU and that was batch. Parang, parang ayoko sabihin. Pero sabihin na natin, Batch 2013. And having the chance to talk about my alma mater and to look back on some of the fondest memories I had in OLFU when I was still a student, it always excites me. Actually nga, Jason, naalala ko pa siya. No, uh, I can still remember it all, lahat ng mga uh, good and bad things na nangyari sa akin kasama ang Our Lady of Fatima University. Plus, it's all very you, clear po, no? <laughs> yeah, it's all very clear. Alam mo yung pagpumipikit ka na, na, na nakikita mo agad when you were in uniform at that time. <laughs> Mamaya pupunta tayo dyan sa topic na yan, no? Uh, but having you, Jason, as, as our guest for the second session, I'm sure we will be having a lot of things to talk about. So, let's get straight to it. Speaking of payments, speaking of tuition fees, speaking of assessments, puntahan na natin ang first topic about the enrollment procedures that we offer in the university. Ano nga ba ang enrollment procedure natin noon at ngayon? Ako siguro, uh, if I would share noon, uh, our enrollment procedure takes one to three days. Ganun siya katagal. Kasi mm, we were all, po. yeah, kasi we were all doing manual eh, manual enrollment. Ay, Saka yung yes. enrollment natin, namin noon, nung when I was enrolling, um, we were still at the, at the Dambana area at that time. Sa sobrang dami ng mga students na kasabay kung magpa-enroll at magpa-section, ginagamit yung buong multi-purpose hall and Hindi pa uso social distancing nung time na yon. So, can you imagine how many students are jam-packed jam within that area? Um, and it lasts, nagsistart yan ng mga seven kasi may mga, may mga kaklase ako mga taga-Bulacan, taga-Pampanga, na umuwi pa. Uwian. Uwian sila. Katalagang sinasadya talaga yung enrollment kasi sila lang yung pinapaaral ng mga magulang nila. And, nung time na kapag meron na silang enough uh, resources para makapag-enroll, ina-enroll na nila kaagad. So talagang talagang ano talagang sinasadya talaga nila. And I can still remember pag kami yung mga old students, hindi lang enrollment basta-basta na kapag nagbayad ka ng tuition fee down payment, pupunta ka na kaagad para magpa-enroll. You have to undergo an evaluation process. Mm -hmm. Wherein, submit mo yung grades mo at susulat yes, nila isa-isa dun sa file mo. Manual yun. Ha? Manual yun. 
Hi, Sir Jomar! <laughs> yes. So, ano yun? Um, manual yun. So, susulat nila yun. Imagine, ako ang apelido ko P. Tapos, batch 2013. Eh, may mas nauna pa sa aking sampung batch. Tapos, maraming mga ano yun? Maraming mga uh, bookbind yun. Bookbound na evaluation. Hahanapin mo yung pangalan. Isa-isa. Punong bayan. P, letter P. Kasi <laughs> susulat mo siya. Isa, isa, isa. <laughs> Kaya it takes time. Siguro maswerte na kami if it, it would last siguro um, one whole day no, na enrollment. Pero sir, in your time po, sikat na po ba si Fatima in your time? Why did you choose Fatima during those times po? Actually, um, may story yan. No? Kasi yung secondary school na pinanggalingan ko, uh, say hello no, to Valenzuela City. School of Mathematics and Science or Valsay dati. Uh, wow. Ang talagang... Valsay uh, graduate ka pala, oh, sir. Valsay graduate. Pero nasa bottom half ng graduating class. So, alam mo na ako nung ginawa ko nung high school. <laughs> um, ang, ang upbringing kasi sa amin sa Valsay is uh, since ikaw yung, ano, ikaw yung bumubuo sa top students within the city, no, ang, ang goal mo dapat is maka-enter ka not only on local university but also on a national university such as University of the Philippines, Polytechnic University of the Philippines, among others. No, so, I too took the upcat. No, and it turned out I failed. I failed on two, uh, I failed on two campuses but I passed on one and that's Los Paños. Um, my mother really wanted to uh, make me to enter UP. No, talagang sinasamahan niya akong pumunta doon para magpa-enroll. But it turned out, I still have to wait for one more semester. And ayaw namin mahinto. Kasi nga, the resources, while they are there, while while it is still fresh, dapat we, we should strike sa Manila. Dapat nga, we should strike the iron while it's hot. Eh. Hindi na natin no, dapat pinalalampas. Yes, Kaya po. lang, dahil too focus na kami sa UP, na-disregard ko na yung ibang colleges na... Uh, Lahat sila, na, lahat sila may entrance examination. And then, there came Our Lady of Fatima, uh, Our Lady of Fatima University na malapit lang sa amin. Actually, walking distance lang. Before, mm-hmm. ha? Walking distance lang siya before. And sabi ko at una, this is, this is true to life. Sabi ko, ma, palabasin mo naman ako ng Metro Manila para masanay naman akong mamasahe. Kasi mm-hmm. naglalakad na lang ako, eh. But, you know, when I entered Fatima, I filled out the application form. I know deep inside that this will be the university that I will that I that I am to stay until I get that dream, until I get that uh, until I get that um, goal. At ang goal ko dati is to become a to become a teacher, a public mm, school ever teacher. Ever since na po. Ever since, oh. yes. But Oo. right now, sir. It's a private institution. Oh, yes, it's a private institution and um, we were struggling actually as a family because I still have my brother who is still in college and they cannot support two two siblings na parehong nasa college. So it's really a challenge. No, yes. But because of our Lady of Fatima University scholarship program, we're in before, ha, that was during my time, uh, when you have uh, a very high average they can give you a scholarship discount by which you could maintain until you graduate college. Yes, by which so. I did. No? Fatima and, has a lot of scholarships to offer po. Oh, oh grabe. And, uh, um, nung ano, uh, nung, nung pumasok ako sa Fatima, minamata ako ng mga kaklase ko dati nung high school na sabi nila, ano ba yan, hindi ka na lumabas ng Valenzuela. No? <laughs> but, um, but the rest is history. And, um, nung nag, apply ako, di ba dapat education kasi nga, teacher ang gusto mo pero ang sinulat ko, tourism <laughs> travel management di ko rin alam kung bakit kasi ang naalala ko nun sa teacher ko, ma'am, ma'am, ano po ba yung course na walang math <laughs> sabi nila, tourism tsaka HRM, so sabi ko pag HRM, ayoko naman na mag HRM kasi yung dalawa kong pinsan is also a, uh, is, uh, are also HRM students at that time Yes. Sabi ko, maiba naman. So, sige, tourism naman. Medyo nadaya ako doon kasi may math. <laughs> Pero <laughs> I love, I love day, that. Sir. Yes po. Tsaka na-achieve mo pa rin po yung dream nyo right now. You're a teacher. Yes. Uh, I, 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 po. Oh, <laughs> I, I became I became part of the academic force of the university kung saan ako lumaki. 
and that's Our Lady of Fatima University. That was before. But Jason, take us back, right? Uh, take us back to the first time you had thought of Our Lady of Fatima University. Uh, how was it? And how did you land it onto this uh, platform na kausap kita ngayon as an OLFU student? Honestly po, before I entered Fatima, I was in senior high school po. Mm-hmm. I was from the La Salle Araneta University. Okay. But then po, um, due to the high tuition fee in senior high school, I decided to look for other universities na maganda pa rin po yung, ano, yung credentials ng schools, kasabayan po ng mga big schools, and that is Our Lady of Fatima University. Among those universities po, si, Fani, si Fatima po, sobrang ganda po ng credentials, pakukuha, um, accredited po si Fatima, and paasko accredited, accredited po, and all, all that things po. So I decided to enroll with Fatima. At the same time, nakuha ko po yung goal ko na lower tuition people. <laughs> wow, that's good. Uh, that's good to hear. Our Lady of Fatima University uh, believes uh, that everyone deserves equal uh, equally uh, credible and equally high calibrated education. Walang pinipili. Walang pinipili to Our Lady of Fatima University and you are a testament of that. Test- yes. A testament to that. <laughs> so how was it nung when you applied to Our Lady of Fatima University as a senior high school student before, uh, what are your thoughts about the university? And uh, I'm sure you had a bit of comparing done during your time. No? So, Honestly, before po kasi, I was eyeing for uh, medical field. Mm-hmm. That's why sobrang gusto ko din po taga- talaga mag-Fatima before. Sa application ko nga po, ang first choice ko po doon, medtech. So, ang ang track po na kinukuha ko po sana is STEM. But then, it doesn't go that way po. I took the ABM course in Fatima and nakita ko po na yung mga professors po, yung mga teachers po namin, certified accountant din po. So, sobrang ganda din po talaga. Yeah, I agree. I couldn't agree with you um, even more, Jason. Uh, nag-agree ako sa lahat ng sinabi mo. And um, when you entered the university, because take us take us back to the time when you first applied physically and when you had seen Our Lady of Fatima University in the flesh for the During first time. During my time po, there was there were many launch area po. Naabutan ko po yung mga launch area natin sa iba't ibang buildings po. And yun nga lang po sa accounting accounting office natin since pag enrollment um enrollment month po kapag exams week yun lang po, mahaba po yung pila. But then, the accounting office is air-conditioned. And yun nga lang po, since mahaba nga po yung pila, yung iba po, sa labas na po. So, sa labas po, may mga bench po, may mga big electric fans. It took hours po bago ma-process yung payment before. Ganun But po. you know, Jason, uh, our enrollment procedure is now simpler. It's now easier and it's now more convenient, not yes, only for po. old students and new students. For everyone. Tell, <laughs> yeah, for everyone. Tell me about that experience, Jason. As I've said a while ago, Fatima gave us so many options. Po. We have to go, we can go over the counter, we can pay online. If we don't have any banks, we can also pay we by Dragon Pay, Dragon Pay and then we can just fill up the form there tapos ipepresent po natin dun sa payment institution na napili natin tsaka po tayo doon mag, ano po, magbabayad po. So it's very convenient na po depend, depende po sa kung um, saan po mas convenient sa'yo you can choose whenever, whatever you want po. Okay. Uh, the university had seen already uh, cases wherein Uh, some of the students took a long time. Tulad na, we, we agree on one platform and that is when we do enrollment, it always t- took us a long time. Minsan nga, nagde-devote pa tayo ng one or two days na hindi tayo magpo-focus sa kahit na anong bagay kung hindi sa enrollment lang. But because of Our Lady of Fatima University simpler enrollment process, um, all of the students can now have less time on enrolling and more time on their family and other things to do. Here at Our Lady of Fatima University, diba, we, uh, kung, uh, we are 
we are safe na nahabang nasa bahay tayo, it is not a hindrance para makapag-enroll tayo or makapag-continue tayo ng education. Sabi mo nga, Jason, you are to go back, tama ba? Yes, pa. <laughs> And we will be doing it online, Jason. There are only three ways. You just pay either through Dragon Pay or uh, that is a very uh, that's a very convenient platform for all of us kasi if you had um at uh, at one point siguro nakapag Shopee tayo or Lazada that's how it's that's how it's like no when we do when we use Dragon Pay also if we have um, we have uh, of course our accounting office and student financial services that can attend to us and to every concerns either on campus or off and of course we have over the counter transactions at our accredited and partner banks. Yes po. So Jason, alam mo na take notes, sana nagte-take notes ka, di ba? <laughs> <laughs> o sige, iwanan muna natin yung enrollment kasi medyo uh, technical yan eh. Kasi di ba online tambayan tayo, eh, we should be chill, we should reminisce and we should share good and fond uh, mem- uh, good memories na sabi nga natin, di ba, kapag nakapikit tayo, naaalala natin, di ba? Yes po. Um, ito naman yung next nating topic. And the topic is memorable experience. Ano ba yung mga memorable experiences natin when we are, when you are, no currently you are still connected with Our Lady of Fatima University. So up to date, ano yung uh, memorable experience mo? And on my case, What was my memorable experience or what were my memorable experiences back when I was still a student in OLFU? Alam mo ba, Jisoo, na yung nakikita mo sa screen at nakikita ng mga viewers natin ngayon sa podcast na to ay hindi talaga itong pagbumuka na to nung nag-aaral ako sa kal. <laughs> Bakit naman, sir? Imaginein mo, Jisoo, payat ka. Sobrang payat. <laughs> Tapos, may ano ka, darker yung complexion mo kasi... Uh, lagi kang nagsuswimming eh kasi nga ang one of di ba dito we uh, one of our PE classes are concentrated in swimming lessons di ba yes, so ma'am. yung swimming syempre tirik ang araw kailangan mong pumunta on the next class so iitim ka lalo tapos hindi ko inaahit yung balbas ko sa yung bigote ko <laughs> never kasi i believe nung una na, unang ano na yon unang Pasok ko sa Fatima, ay hindi ko aahitin to kasi swerte. Parang kapag nakita nila na hindi ko inaahit yan, parang ay baby face pa din si RJ. Kaya hindi ko siya inaahit. Nagtataka nga lang ako, hindi, siya, hindi ako nagmukhang baby face nung apat na taon. Nagmukha akong ano. Mas okay parang, po pala bang oh, Mas okay pala na malinis yung mukha. No? Tapos, ano, um, mahaba yung buko, hindi ako nagpapagupit. As in, Nandun daw but, po kasi yung ano, talino. Kung hindi nilang pagupit. Oo. Sabi nga nila, kapag daw, huwag ka magpagupit sa gabi kasi mawawala daw yung swerte. Ewan ko ba? <laughs> De, kasi, um, ba, kaya hindi ako nagpapagupit nun kasi even, eto, this is a true to life experience na kahit, kahit pampagupit, wala ako. Kasi mas gusto ko na lang na ipunin yon para sa, kasi I can live naman with a very long hair eh maayos ko naman siya. So, yes, isa-save ko na lang yun. 50 pesos pa nung time na yun. Ah. Eh, 50 pesos pa rin naman ngayon. No? So, 50 pesos yung haircut before nun. Iniipon ko yun kasi pag nagpa-haircut ako, wala akong babaunin. Maglalakad na naman ako pa uwi. So, wag na inilala ko magpapagupit. Kaya ang gupit ko nun every 3 months. Kaya haba ng buko nung time na yun. Okay lang na maukaan o mapagalitan. But my most memorable experience at that uh, when I was still a student is yung, alam mo yung kapag exam. Tapos, oy, hindi, hindi yung naiisip po, Jason. Mabay tayo. Uh, we, we don't tolerate that in Our Lady of Fatima University. But yes, alam, mo yung kapag, alam mo yung kapag exam, pag late ka na, alam mo yung ang daming tumatakbo sa labas. Sa kanto pa lang. Yes po. Oo, ang dami yung mga may hawak <laughs> ng lapis. Also, yes Oo, po. Alam mo yung may hawak ng lapis tsaka exam permit. Tapos tumatakbo sila, makikita mo sila. I should know because naranasan ko yun. Na tumatakbo ako. I, I, I was rushing because it, the traffic in that area was so worse uh, na kailangan kong tumakbo, tatakboin ko. Tapos pagpasok mo sa room, biglang bubukas yung pinto. Tapos may kita ka ng mga kaklase mo na hinihingal ka. <laughs> Tapos magmamakaawa ka sa teacher mo na, sir, pasensya na po. Pwedeng 
isa pa last chance na lang po and i thank my teachers for uh for giving me that no there are some teachers na i know i understand they follow the rules yes. no but most some of the teachers Sama are considerate po oh <laughs> tinat- uh, talagang pinagbibigyan talaga nila and aside from that siguro memorable experience ko dito yung pag tumatambay ako sa library kasi dati ang library namin uh, maliit lang isang saan room lang po? talaga siya sa St. Jerome Ali? Building mm. uh, kung nasaan po ang College of Maritime Education today ah, ground floor po. oo okay nandoon po. tambay ako kilala na nga ako ng library assistant nun eh kasi lagi ako nanghihiram ng libro pero hindi ko daw binabasa <laughs> <laughs> kasi yung ginagawa ko, natutulog ko. Kasi ang in, mainit, syempre, yun lang naman ang aircon nung time na yon And uh, ah, at San Lorenzo... po, wala oh, pong aircon. At San Lorenzo Hall kasi, uh, to install pa lang ang air conditioning units. So, yun lang, yun lang ang way namin para makaramdaman lang ng few seconds so of ver- aircon. We're very lucky po pala ngayon. Kasi lahat yes. po ng room, ang daming aircons po, hindi lang isa. Hindi lang isa, yes, dalawa po. pa. So, <laughs> kaya lang, uh, since we are in a pandemic, of course, we can't actually experience that. But before, that was 2009, 2010. Yung library card ko nun, ang daming pirma kasi ang dami kong hinihiram. Pero hindi ko siya binabasa kasi ginagamit ko lang yon as an excuse para matulog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry na po sa ating library assistant and hello po sa ating head of library services and learning resource center. Promise po, hindi ko na po yung gagawin. <laughs> May bahay na po. <laughs> yes, and of course, yung mga co-curricular activities. Yun ang nami-miss ko talaga kasi um, siyempre may mga teacher na dahil they are also supporting co-curricular uh, initiatives of the university, they would let us attend these like seminars, trainings, um, college weeks. Yan, yung mga nakikita ko, mga nagsisigawan na isang linggo, uh, na, na isang araw o dalawang araw na may ka, meron kayong sinaselebrate. That's what I miss about Our Lady of Fatima University. Ikaw, Jason, since you are still with Our Lady of Fatima University, but with a different setup, you are doing online learning. What do you miss the most about face-to-face and um, uh, other experience? What is the most memorable experience that you are really missing at Our Lady of Fatima University? It's not that I'm missing it po, pero the most memorable part for me was the transition that it happened po, eh, that happened po. The transition from the um, um, traditional setting of the education up to the um, current po, online classes po, online education po. Kasi it was new to everyone po. And yeah. we... And hindi naman po tama na yung poor students lang din po yung iniisip natin. Mm-hmm. Every university is new to this setup. The professors are new to this setup. But also, the students, of course, are new to this setup. And sobrang hirap lang po sa umpisa na syempre nabigla po tayong lahat na we have to adapt to this change. And not everyone has the same capabilities na kaya pong mag-adapt kaagad sa pagbabago na yan. But at the end of the day, you have to do it because there's nothing permanent in this um, environment, in this world naman po talaga. So, that's I it. Do I'm, agree. I, I'm just glad that I'm one of those students that can adapt to that change <laughs> Oo, uh, we were caught off guard during that time kasi uh, most of the students think of um, internet no and uh, devices as only supplementary. Ika nga, uh, we can live without it. Yun ang yes, sabi po. nila. Kasi may mga kaklase ako na walang cellphone pero nag excel talaga. Talagang naitatawid. Before, no? Uh, that was the time, nung time ko, when I was a student, technology and uh, the use of uh, laptops is a thing that only class A, B, class A and class, class B people yes. can afford. Pero kaming mga nasa lower middle class and nasa poor families, we cannot. So instead of, uh, instead of um, saving up for one device or one unit, lalaan namin yun sa ano? Sa... Uh, papagain namin, taka sa education namin. 
Pero that's the good thing before din po. So, yung sa uh, mismong, ano naman po sa Fatima before, yung pinaka, um, pinaka gusto ko po, kung saan po ako lagi na, nalalagi, sa Rice Tower po. The library in Rice Tower po. Kasi po sa Rice Tower, there are several PC po. There are several computers na may internet na pwede pong gamitin ng every students po. So, they can do their homeworks there, their research, everything po. And yes. Yes mm-hmm. po. Aside And, uh, from uh, that, Yeah. Fatima, the, that library also provides um, an outlet for every student. Po. So we can charge our phones, ganun po. Okay. Uh, pero you know what? No, Our library and our learning resource center provides not only um, supplementary experience no, for us students, but also they provide Uh, the same level and the same quality of experience even when we are at our respective homes. No? At saka, saka ba nakakita na library na may coffee shop? Gee, soon. Yeah, totoo. Diba? Mm. <laughs> sa Rice Tower diba? po. Sa Rice Tower, <laughs> meron. We have our own coffee shop within the Learning Resource Center. Okay, so speaking of memorable experience, pag-usapan naman natin yung best memories. I know you could share something about your Uh, best memory to date no pero unahin muna natin yung before because you know uni- uh, our lady of fatima university had uh, has been delivering quality education to everyone since 1967 pa so what i would ex- why would uh, ang ikukuwento ko dito sa best memory is of course during from the time of early 2000 to late 2000. So, papuntang 2010, 2011. Uh, what was life back then, during that time? Uh, I entered the university 2009. And I entered at the age of 15. Sabi nila, kapag nag-college ka at the age of 15, you are Sobrang really young. Sobrang sir. bata okay. pa. Oo. Kasi, ano, uh, hindi naman tayo accelerated, pero... Maaga lang akong in-enroll ng nanay ko nung time na yun. So, tinuloy-tuloy ko na. So, and I entered the university at the age of 15. So, wala pa. Wala ka pang kamuang-muang. And don't, within the same city ka lang naman na naninirahan at nag-aaral, iba pa din yung experience when you are to enter your university for the very first time. And uh, what I had experienced during that time is, alam mo yung pagpapasok ka ng Uh, pagpapasok ka ng school, uh, everyone will greet you. Parang ano, eh, parang every, everyone will greet you at that time. Good morning, welcome, ganyan. And um, what I miss about Fatima and the best memory that I have uh, was the college activities that we have. No, uh, At our college, at CHIM, we have CHIM Week. We're in, uh, alam nyo ba na sa Fatima, hindi kami naglalaro ng Team Red, Team Blue, Team Violet, Hindi. Lahat ng team namin, name ng prutas. So, Team Bayabas, Team Chico, Team Duhat, Team Makopa, Team Manga, Team Pongkan. And nag-enjoy kami doon kasi alam mo yung, alam mo yung nagpaparada ka sa Dambana area. Ta- ang sinisigaw mo, go Bayabas, go Chico. Tapos pinagtitingin na kami ng mga tao. Bakit sila nag-cheer ng mga prutas? Pero we enjoyed it so much. Uh, the CHIM week was one hell of, a experience, of an experience. And I will never forget that. Kasi uh, naranasan kong maging officer, maging organizer, maging contestant, at maging cheater sa loob ng apat na taon because of that. And uh, thanks to um, thanks to the College of Hospitality and Institutional Management who gave us that platform to, pro, to, to unleash the talent in all of us. Aside from that, yung best memory ko nun, Hindi mo na naabutan to Jason eh. Pero yung KF, a- alam nyo ba na, ito ah, trivia lang ah, alam nyo ba, magpapakakuyaki muna ako dito, alam nyo ba na ang KFC sa main campus, eh, bago siya maging KFC, isa siyang napakalaking kainan. Ang tawag, natin do- ang tawag namin doon, campus bubbles. Isa siyang malaking yeah, kantin. Anong year pa yun, sir? Parang hindi ko ano na. Huwag mo nang tanongin. Grabe ka na. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, that was 2009, 2010. Uh, yung space na yun, isa siya, napakasikat siya sa mga medical students. 
Tsaka yung mga students na nag-aaral sa main. Kaya lang kami napupunta sa main kasi we have our PE classes on phys- uh, physical education sa rooftop. Alam nyo ba na nag-hike tayo sa Pope John Paul building ng walang elevator? Tapos alam nyo ba, ang, ang joke sa akin ng teacher ko sa PE, sabi, nagreklamo ko, sabi ko, mamba ba't wala namang elevator sa ibang building naman? Meron. Ang sabi niya, kaya nga PE classes, di ba? Exercise, di ba? <laughs> o, oh, edi ganyan. <laughs> Hindi ko naman inakalang isang taon ako mag-exercise kasi di, dalawang semester ang PE classes nun. At after PE class, kumakain kami ng dinner sa Campus Bubbles. Ang price ng time na yon ng isang meal is na sa 40 to 50 pesos. Meron ka ng ula, meron ka ng kanin, meron ka ng sabaw. Um, and, uh, well, of course, change is really happening and Campus Bubbles bowed down and became KFC. So ngayon, marami pa ring mga marami pa ring mga kumakain sa KFC area na dating kumakain sa Campus Bubbles. At naalala ko yun, doon kami nakikita-kita ng mga kaklasiko. Tapos magsishare-share kami. Patak-patak, share-share na lang tayo. Hindi ko kayang bumili ng isang meal eh. So, tika kalahati kami ganing, kalating ulam. And that was one of the best kasi doon ko naramdaman yung solidarity, yung brotherhood. yung friendship yes. na kahit na kahit wala kang kahit you are not that financially provided mm-hmm. nandun yung friendship at actually nami-miss ko sila ngayon and right now they have their own families they have their own jobs some have uh, started their career overseas but kapag naalala namin yun uh, we are just really li- reliving what is what happened during that time and Alam mo ba na ang swimming classes natin nasa parada? At oh, alam mo naman... that po. <laughs> o share mo naman, ano yung experience mo dun sa parada natin? Our PE Sports Complex in uh, Valenzuela. Na-experience ko po siya when I was still in senior high school po sa PE class lang po namin. So mm-hmm. we had to commute from all the way from the Fatima located Ooh, at... Tama. At Tamaraw po. Tamaraw po kasi yung building namin that time. So we had to travel all the way from Tamaraw up to, saan ba siya? Parang sa Malinta. Sa Parada po, Malinta. Po. Yeah, oo. <laughs> oo, at tapos isang tricycle yun, di ba? Doon mo masusukat yung mga, kung gano'ng kalaki ang baon ng mga kaklase mo. Kapag ang isang student, eh, na kaya niyang mag-tricycle mula Parada hanggang Dambana area, mayaman yan. 150 baon yan araw, araw. pero kapag na masahi yan ng tatlong sakay isang tricycle isang jeep tapos tricycle ulit kasi pagod na yan yung At mga oh, ako, lagi, sir. <laughs> oh, ako din naman tatlong sakay naman ako lagi oh, okay lang taga takpawis mo basta makakapasok ka sa klase mo on time ba? Diba? saka ang naalala ko pa nun ang alam ko mag sa akin tayo ay pinalaki hindi lang ng Our Lady of Fatima University pero pinalaki tayo ng Shomai Rice <laughs> Opo, sa oh. Tamaraw, puro Shomai Rice yeah. oh, uh, Ang presyo na ng Shomai Rice noong time ko, 30 pesos 30 Meron ka pesos, na, sir? Oh, oh. 29 nga to be exact eh Apat na pirasong Shomai, pipili ka kung fried o steam Meron ka ng sausawan, maanghang pa yung sausawan mo Tapos meron ka pang isang kasang kanin And that's good enough for me Noong time Parang na yun. yung salmon, sir, as far as I remember, nasa 25 to 30 pesos. O, di ba? Napakamura. <laughs> And uh, thank you dahil po sa inyo. Nabuhay po ako. Nakapag-graduate po ako. <laughs> uh, na ang laman ng chan ko ay so my so rice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, kasi, ano yun eh. Uh, kasi, syempre, with the 50 peso allowance every day, syempre, ang kakainin mo na dapat is filling para mag ka the whole day. No, eh syempre 20 pesos yung pamasahe mo. So, yung 30 pesos pang kakain mo na lang. Tapos titingin ka na lang sa mga kaklase mo kapag ano, <laughs> kapag nakikinulangan ka. O, tas, eh, pero may mga kaklase kami no na nagbibigay talaga. They are really generous. And I thank them for it. Pas party sila ng Fatima experience ko. Ikaw na man, Jis. Take us back to the time where in you had experienced the best memory so far. Anong feeling and kwento mo naman sa amin? Um, yung for me po, I've been part of the committee of leaders po kasi under Miss Leia before. That's why I've experienced so many events din po before and I was one of the um I was one of the leaders that um 
na umaayos po dun sa mga event na yun. So, I've gained so much skills din po in terms of that time po kasi I become the secretary. So, wow. I really become, I really learned how to keep all the papers. Eh, hindi naman po ako masyadong ganun na klase ng tao. Kaya po, I really had to do that, do my resp- responsibility before. So, mm-hmm. kaya ang dami ko po talagang natutunan thanks to that organization po. And I'm sure uh, natulungan ka ng malaki ng organization na kinabilangan mo to be who you are. Yes And, po, um, of course po. Thinking of organizations, uh, siguro Kung hindi... po humarap po. sa ibang tao, makisama po sa ibang tao. Oo, oh, alam mo ba na nabigay experience no? <laughs> no? Ah uh, kasi ano pa kahit tourism student kami, syempre kapag travel management student, ang tingin sa ng ibang tao dapat magiliw ka kang kasama, dapat presentable kang tignan. Oo. Nasabi ko naman na kanina na hindi ako presentable tignan, no. Pero <laughs> pero we were we were taught also to how to socialize properly. No, and I was once part of a team of ushers and usherettes and we call that elite fleet. Alam mo ba, Jason, ako ang uh, part ako ng kauna-unahang batch ng elite fleet na estudyante. O, oh, hindi lang estudyante but I was one of the duty supervisors at that time. Pag supervisor ka kasi, meron kang team of people na usherettes din. Nakaklase mo din. Ikaw yung leader nila. Ikaw yung team lead nila. And yun yung uh, one of those experiences that I would never forget. Kasi kahit nung gumraduate ako and I entered the workforce, bago pa ako magpatima, uh, I, I was once connected to an airline uh, airline company. Nagamit ko yun. Oh, nagamit ko yung experience na yun. And uh, because of that, Our Lady of Fatima University graduates ay nakilala sa isang lugar na napakalayo. Airport, napakalayo. Pasay City or Paranaque. Pero kapag naghahanap sila ng OJTs, ang lagi nilang nire-request yung taga Fatima. And that is really something to se- to be celebrated. no? And um, dahil nga nag-discuss tayo no, sa favorite experience, punta naman tayo sa kinahuhumalingan at uh, hindi la, siguro mali yung word na kinahuhumalingan pero yung win, uh, hinihintay ng lahat ng tao and that lalo na yung mga students ngayon and that is graduation okay. ikaw Jason you've graduated already uh, with Our Lady of Fatima University for your senior high yes, so tell us the experience nung gumraduate ka at natapos mong senior high school sa so Our Lady of Fatima University It w- it was in a very big place po. Uh, it was okay. in ano po ata sa Araneta po, Coliseum. Di ka sure? Uh, Ilang percent sure? Bigla <laughs> <laughs> ko nakalimutan. Nako ha, siya sabi ko na Jason ha. Pero sige, go ahead. Hindi po kasi ako familiarize sa mga places po, but okay. then the mismong place po. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, kamusta? Um nag ba kayo after? <laughs> <laughs> Hindi naman po, sir. It was very a happy occasion. All smiles naman po. Kasi po, and yun lang po, nasad lang po ako. Kasi during that time, syempre most awaited part po ng lahat yung graduation. Lalo na po kapag ever since you've been uh, an awardee, but then on the graduation day, you're not going to go up there with your parents or you're not going to receive an award. So, it was just, um, that's what the sad part for me mm-hmm. during that time long. That's really sad, no, Jason? Uh, na one of the milestones that you had achieved, uh, wala dun yung hinihintay mo. No? But, uh, I, I know and I'm praying that this milestone will uh, na malungkot will be overturned and will be substituted with a very worthwhile uh, one. Oh, hintayin natin yan, Jason. No? Don't fret on that. Huwag ka masyadong malungkot on that. Um, ako naman, when I graduated college, it was really surreal. Talagang hindi ako nakapaniwala, makapaniwala nun kasi I was a product of a scholarship program. Oh, thank you, Our Lady of Fatima University kasi apat na taon niyo po akong pinag-aral no nang kukunti lang ang binabayaran ko o wala akong binayaran at the time and 
uh, when I when I stepped foot on PICC at that time, PICC pa yon. Yes, uh, grabe, naiyak-iyak pa nga ako eh. Hindi dahil ang ganda ng experience, naiyak-iyak ako kasi late ako nakarate ang traffic. <laughs> no, um, kasi iba ang gusto ng iba, dapat nakasasakyan ka pag pupunta ka ng PICC. Ako po kasama yung dalawa kong magulang, talagang namasahe kami. From Valenzuela, pumunta kami ng Pasay City on Jeep, LRT, and another Jeep. Na, alam mo yun, nakadrape yung toga mo, na talagang your well-pressed toga, tsaka yung hat mo, talagang nakadrape yan. And then, pagdating namin doon, tumatakbo na yung graduation march, so sumingit na lang ako, and I was far away from my classmate. But when I received that plaque, no, uh, that says that I graduated with honors, I graduated cum laude, uh, hard work had really paid off. Kasi, uh, I don't want to be too emotional, <laughs> but yeah, um, life was really hard during college. Uh, our family is uh, our family went into hard times talaga. To the point na yung kakainin na lang namin ng hapunan, ibibigay na lang sa amin ng magulang namin para lang makapasok ako sa school. And if not for the scholarship, siguro wala ako ngayon. Di ako nag-aral sa Fatima. Siguro I have my own family na. <laughs> Pero wala eh. Um, nung kinuha ko yung plaque na yon. From a distance, hindi ko nakikita yung parents ko. But after the graduation proper, I saw my mother. Pero wala yung tatay ko. Kasi magkasama sila eh. Sabi niya, sabi ko, ma, nasan si daddy? Nag-CR anak ni Iyak. Ayaw niyang ipakita sa'yo na umiiyak siya. Kasi proud na proud siya sa nakuha mong award. And that was really... You know, that was really heartwarming. Talagang naiyak yes. din ako after that. <laughs> At yun yung hindi ko makakalimutan. So I would like to take uh, I would like to take this opportunity to thank the parents. You know who you are, Mommy Rosel and Daddy Herman. If not for the both of you, if not for your hard work, I wouldn't be here. So maraming maraming salamat po. Jason, any thoughts? Mm. I'm speechless with your ano po, sir, eh. <laughs> Heartwarming <laughs> story po. <laughs> yeah, medyo tiri ay tayo. Actually nga, nung, uh, nung nire-reminis ko pa rin yun, uh, kahit mara- matagal na yun, na uh, ano yun, eh, uh, hindi talaga siya mawawala. And, Our Lady of Fatima University had been a witness to that. So, uh, uh, about, you no know, graduating with a degree that you really love. No, and, Uh, I would. Uh, we would like to leave some tips and reminders, no, from our for our viewers about continuing. Because Jason, you are not only a representative of the student population, but you are also one of those who had struggled at first, but managed to cope up with uh, the situation. And ano nga ba yung mga maipapayo mo sa ating mga viewers on how to continue still on studying and continue on reaching their dreams and goals? Um, I think what I can say to you guys is that um, siguro dapat lang na ano, i-set natin sa mind natin yung mga um, yung goals natin na gusto nating ma-achieve. Para in the case, we will go step by step para ma-achieve natin yun. And that includes the um, studying really hard and providing a space for you where you can really study. So ako kasi before, I've struggled with my online classes then. I tend to, fa- to fall asleep during classes. That's inevitable when you're at home. So what I can tell to you guys is that you should commit yourself during those hours. Maybe you can sit down with a nice chair and a table where you can commit to your uh, online classes. Wow. Uh, that is one advice na I think sinusulat na ngayon ng OLFU student population natin, lalo na to continue. No, Speaking of continue, my advice to you, Jason, uh, since I've been there, I what I I I am a, I once I was once a student before naging estudyante din ako and uh, naranasan ko din yung nararanasan mo ngayon. Well, walang pandemic nung time na yon pero the degree and the difficulty of um still uh, striving to continue is the same. No, ang mapapayo ko sa it's not always the problem that would define you. It's the response that you do 
when you challenge the problem. Yes. No, hindi dapat yung problema ang magpapa uh, ang ang magde-define sa kung sino ka. Kung Do papaano not let ka. The situation your feel, negative feelings control you. Yes. Not let and that be the cause of your success. That's true. Dapat kung ano yung nararamdaman natin ngayon o ano yung nararanasan natin ngayon, we should respond positively to it. Kasi uh, our Lord or our God doesn't give us these challenges para mag-suffer tayo. Binibigyan niya tayo ng ganito or uh, God let these things happen because we wanted to surrender it all to Him and make a stand to respond to the problem positively. Yun ang mapapayo ko ngayon, Jason, sa'yo. And of course, never fail to uh, study kasi dadali, dadali, dadali natin yan. Kahit beyond graduation, we are still learning from life. So, uh, dapat maging ano tayo, maging, uh, maging positive tayo sa kung ano yung uh, da, uh, kung ano yung dadalhin sa atin ng buhay. Because we'll never know. Maybe the greatest, uh, maybe the deepest challenge that you're facing right now might be your turning point. No, para maging better ka or maging uh, kilala ka. No, and thank you to our Lady of Fatima University for giving us just that. Thank you so much, Sir RJ, for that heartwarming advices. Oh, gusto I will sure to take it into my heart. Gusto kong makita ka, gusto kong makita ka at ang ating mga students ng Our Lady of Fatima University to reach for their dreams and reach for their goals no matter what the challenges are. I've been there. Maraming mga taong nagsabing, bakit yan ang kinuha mong course or bakit sa Fatima ka nag-aral? But if we uh, if that group of persons will ask the ask me again, bakit lang ka nag-aral? It's because of one thing. I choose I chose a university where they let me grow. And lahat ng mga uh, lahat ng ibang tao, they don't give us that chance. Only our lady of Fatima University. Okay, so I I'm really happy to chat with you, Jason. Gusto kong magita tayo. I I really wanted to see you in person at pag-usapan pa more more things about uh, our experiences. Then. And now, and I, I, I would, I would agree with you. Na marami tayong mga bagay na napagkasunduan, no? Kasi may mga experiences tayo na pareho lang, no? Yes, pa. And I think, uh, and I pray that some of our viewers who are watching with us or watching this podcast to be, um, to be challenged and at the same time be inspired with what we have uh, discussed between me and Jason. Again, thank you so much, Miss Jason Kim, for having with uh, for, so ha- uh, for... for having you in our second session of the Phoenix Online Tambayan. That's it for our episode for today. I hope you guys had fun. Uh, fun. No? Ako nag-enjoy, si Jason nag-enjoy, sana kayo din, Patimanians, ay nag-enjoy din sa ating Phoenix Online Tambayan and were able to relax and chill with us. If you have any thoughts about this episode or you just want to reach out to OLFU so na, you know, gusto nyo makitambay at sumama sa amin, just simply post those, simply post your comments into this podcast on your social networking sites, share it to everyone with the hashtag Phoenix Online Tambayan. Again, share mo lang kapatid. Use the hashtag Phoenix Online Tambayan. And who knows, you might be the next guest to chill with us. Again, my name is RJ and with me is Jason. Thank you and watch out for the third session of our Phoenix Online Tambayan episode. But for now, stay safe, Patimanians. Bye-bye! Top, 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 top.